Hi everyone, Lisa Lee here. I have had a lot of questions about some of the crystals that I have and some that I sell. So I'm in the middle of moving, so a lot of my crystals are all packed up. And I came across some of these and I'm going to show you a few of the spheres that I have. I love spheres, they look planetary, and I just love them and I thought maybe I'd share them with you. So until I go live, here's a little video on some of the spheres I have. If you're interested in any of them, Email me at twoleavespod at gmail.com and I will get right back to you. So here you go. Enjoy. This is a blue appetite sphere. This weighs point four one zero grams. This is for inspiration, motivation, and satisfaction. I love my blues. Look how pretty it is. The sun's hitting it now. This sphere is an indigo dabra sphere. It's actually mystic Merlin. Cool. They're so cool. I love crystals. Look how pretty it is. You've got some green in there. This is so pretty. I'm not sure how much justice this camera is giving, but they're really pretty spheres. This is a blue calcite stone. It soothes nerves and lessens anxieties, and it's basically used for recuperating. But it's so cool. Look at that. It sparkles. This is a Labradorite sphere. Labradorite is such a cool stone. Look at that rainbow. See the rainbow? Whoa. <laughs> I love this. Labradorite is so cool. I have a couple other Labradorite pieces. I have points. But look, that is so cool when the light hits it a certain way. Oh, man. Look how pretty it is. Now this is like a magic and curiosity stone. And you can tap into your higher state of consciousness with these stones. Very pretty sphere. This is a soda light sphere. I'm gonna try and get the sun by pulling a little there. <laughs> no matter what I do, I can't get rid of it. Okay, so this is a soda light sphere. It's a harmonizer. It grounds with you with self-esteem, acceptance, and trust. It's pretty cool. I, I just really love spheres. <laughs> this here is a purple fluorite sphere. See the rainbows from... Hold it up to the sun. That is the sun coming through here. Look, I love spheres. They're just so planetary, you know? This is a purple. Look at that. And I also have green for it. Fluorite has to deal a lot, it has a lot of uh, attributes. Look at that. Look at the inside of that. It's so pretty. But fluorite deals a lot with peace, bliss, and calming as well. I have a lot of calming spheres. Look at that. See the rainbow in there? This is a really pretty sphere. Those are the fluoride spheres. 
This sphere here is celestite. This is for sweet dreams, soothing, calming. In Latin, this means heavenly. How pretty that is. I love baby blues. This still looks like a planet. <laughs> it's so pretty. This weighs 0 0.710 grams. It's one of my bigger spheres. This stone here is a lapidolite. It's for peace, tranquility, peace, tranquility. It's like that it refuels you when you sleep. <laughs> it's good to enter your next phase of life. This is a great stone, it's so pretty. See all the purple on there? It sparkles, it's so pretty. Don't mind the light, that's the sun coming in my window. See if I can do this right. It's so pretty. This sphere here, this is called a thousand eyed jasper. Its connection with nature brings alignment and healing to the body, mind, and soul. Look at this stone. You see that white light? That's actually not, that's a sun. <laughs> Coming in, so you zoom out a little bit. This is such a beautiful stone. Look at that. A thousand Eye Jasper. So heavy. <laughs> so this is one of the bigger stones that I have. What bigger spheres that I have? This stone here is a natural moonstone. Okay, it has garnierite in it. It's a beautiful stone. That's gorgeous. And it's heavy. <laughs> Sorry, my little words get in the way. Look at that. Look how pretty this stone is. It's one of the larger stones. And I have a smaller stone to match it. These are both natural moonstone with Bonnie Wright. They're so pretty. Each of these stones come with stands. They're just so pretty. Here's a smaller one. Natural moonstone on your right. Look at that. This sphere is a garden sphere. Look at that. What's cool about garden spheres is like clear quartz, but when you look in, look at that rainbow. Look at that. How pretty is that? But when you look in them, look, it looks like there's a landscape inside. You see? Look how pretty that is. This is called a garden sphere. So this is for like dreams, hopes, and like your wishes to come true. Look at that. Oh, see, look at that. It looks like there's a total city living in there. How cool is that? Nice. 
This right here, well, it looks showing a little pink. It's wrapped. And the reason why it's wrapped is because this here, let's see if I can get it out of the sun. <laughs> this here is selenite. Hang on a second. There we go. This here is selenite. This is a very powerful stone. Okay. This is one of my smaller spheres. All right. It's actually called liquid light. It brightens energy of everyone and everything within it. It cleanses, purifies, and aligns itself with your higher, you know, um, your higher intellect. <laughs> this also charges other stones. It's a cleanser and a purifier. This is a great, powerful stone. This is one stone that you cannot get wet. You never have to charge this. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful stone. I have, this is a smaller sphere. Let's see. The pink that you see on it, just so you know, is wrapping. And this is that it's protecting the stone until it gets into the hands of the new owner. But that's what that, that pink is. I have, I believe I have another one. Yeah, they're the same size. This is the second one. These are two selenite spheres that I have. They're smaller spheres. But these are the only selenite I have at the moment. Then I have some small rose quartz spheres. And as you know, most people know, Rose Quartz is all about love. It is so pretty. Everything love. It has other attributes too, but Rose is usually mostly uh, bringing love to you, obtaining it. Look at that. There's some rainbows in that one. I do have a small one, we call this the baby rose. Yeah, that's shiny. And here we have an Amazonite palm stone. Now this some people would consider a large tumble, but also, people call it a palm stone. And what palm stones are is you hold it in your hand all the time, you rub it, stress, energy. But they're calling this a palm stone, but you can call it either or. A tumble, palm stone, whichever you like to do with it. This is Amazonite. And it's very playful stone. So if you have any toxic energy around you, clean it up with Amazonite. <laughs> I have lots of palm stones and this is just one of them but I have it here because it's rounded and it looks like one of my spirits so it's in my spirits thing so I figured I'd show it to you what else do we have here the last one we have to show you speaking of rose quartz here's a rose quartz egg look at that That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I also have a very large rose quartz heart. It's bigger than my hand. <laughs> you guys are interested in seeing that. But this is a rose quartz egg. It all comes with stands. I have another one. Let me show you the other one. This is... This one's a little smaller. But these are rose quartz eggs. So I'm just trying to get in good light. I'd like to go live and do this. Um, but I figured I'd show you my spheres. I have points, I have tumbles, I have some lost stones. So if you're interested in seeing anything else, let me know. I could create a small video or um, go live. Until then, 
you're interested in any of these stones, let me know. And you can just email me at 2 pod at gmail. The information will be at the bottom of the video. And I'll get right back to you. Okay? Have a great night.